It's just 48 hours until Scotland kick off their Nations League campaign. We're at Orium, and this is Scotland HQ. Scotland HQ is back and we've got plenty coming up. I catch up with Lisa Evans on the way to training. If we can get as many people there as possible, obviously help us get, get the victory in the bag. Singer Rianne Downey will be joining us fresh from her set at Glastonbury. Oh, it was a total pinch me moment. It's, it's a bucket list gig. I'll be explaining how the Nations League actually works and what it means for Scotland. And we'll be ending with a few changing room challenges to see who has the best knowledge of our upcoming opponents. <laughs> when he gives a chance. <laughs> so to kick us off, I've come over to the team hotel and I'm up here on the players floor. I'm going to knock on Lisa Evans' door and hopefully we'll have a wee catch up on the way to training. Hi, Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Going to go to training. I'm okay. alright. Let's go. Let's go. Come on then. How was your summer? Got my key. Oh, okay. Yeah, have the key. Got my key. Okay, have the key. So my socks. So, no bag? Yeah, no bag. No plan on doing much today, no? Well, we've got S&C, so yeah, and probably not, to be honest with you. Not too much. Of, like, welcome back. Maybe some few bits. bits few bits, few bits and pieces. Yeah, What's it like being back? Amazing. Aye. Uh, best place in the world, honestly. Um, obviously, I love being part of the national team, and it's, it's always fun coming back, seeing everyone. Yeah, obviously got big games as well, so looking forward to that side of things. What were you up to during the summer? Obviously, you had the, the camp in the middle of July, but what were you up to elsewhere? Uh, yeah, well, obviously, I think a lot of the girls, um, we decided we were going to Ibiza oh, for a wee, a wee uh, team holiday. We obviously get on really well, yeah. so I think there ended up being like 18, 19 of us. It was literally the whole squad. Um, so we were there for a few days, um, just enjoying ourselves, uh, having a bit of time off and enjoying some sun and good food. Bet Ibiza nice loved weather. you. So Ibiza, class, but did you catch any of the World Cup at any other times during the summer? Ah, yes, yeah, so I think by that point we were already back in pre-season. Nice. So, um, between that and between training, saw quite a few of the games. Um, but yeah, already back in pre-season at that point, so I th would have liked to see more of it, but aye. So, as you say, back in pre-season, uh, how's that been going? Because your league will start in a couple of weeks when you get back from international camp. Yeah, so that was our last game there at the weekend um, of pre-season. It's flown in, to be honest, like, uh, after the camp that we had, Last time in July, I think from there, like it's literally just been the get go. Really, we've we've had training games, um, and then we've got camp, and then that's us. The season starts after that. Buzzing to be back, as you say, massively important games. It must be exciting though to have more competitive games with this Nations League stuff. No, oh, absolutely, and it's like the calibre of teams as well that you're playing. Um, it's not just turning up for for friendly games. It's dream start against England. Um, in the stadium light, so it's yeah, that's the team you want to be playing. Belgium, Holland, it's some of the best teams in the world, so we're really looking forward to matches. Is it the dream start? Is it the ideal time to be playing England right now? Is it? I don't know, to be honest, we'll just focus on ourselves. I think you can say what you want about England, they're one of the best teams in the world, and um, I think they've shown that obviously with the their World Cup that they had, and um, unfortunate not to win it in the end, and obviously the back of um, their Euro win as well, so they are a team. Um, at the top of their game right now. They've got some of the best players in the world, playing in the best league, I think, arguably in the world. So You're going to say that? You're going to say that? Oh, of course yeah, you are. Of course, yeah. Um, so it'll be a massive test for us, but one that we're really looking forward to. Kicking off on Friday, as you say, in Sunderland, Stadium of Light. How important is it going to be to get some of the Tartan Army down there? It's not too far a trip, is it? My mum and dad are making it. Are down. they? <laughs> yeah, aye, so it's just across the border. I'm hoping that will encourage a lot of the, the Scotland fans to come over, get the troops in and get the atmosphere. I'm sure the atmosphere will be good anyway, yeah. regardless, but um, yeah, if we can get as many people there as possible, obviously help us um, get, get the victory in the bag. Absolutely. Then setting the perfect tone then for Belgium, and it's so important that Hamden's bouncing next week, isn't it? Yeah, no, without a doubt, I think Hamden really become a fortress, I feel like, for us playing there. Um, and we've seen we've seen as well with the men, like the, the atmosphere that they had against England. We'd love something similar. Obviously, it'll be really difficult to get that, but... Um, yeah, when Hamden's bouncing, it's like one of the best places to be in the world. So, yeah, hopefully get people at the game. That's it, though, because the opportunity to test yourselves, as you say, against the best of the best, it has to attract the fans as well. They're going to see, obviously, Scotland, but some world-class players as well in the opposition teams. Yeah, no, without a doubt, like you say, um, 
uh, some of the best players in the world that we're, we're going to be facing. So not just for the Belgium game, we want them there for, for all the games and we're really hoping to build um, on the next few performances. And I think we have, we have built already um, this season, this year, um, in terms of our performances, who we've played against, um, beating teams ranked higher than us, obviously this show you game, uh, giving us a lot of a lot of confidence going into these games. So yeah, we're just absolutely buzzing, and I'm sure we'll we'll do amazing. You can tell you're buzzing, and I was up at Dens for the Northern Ireland game, and you could just sense that there was just this real togetherness. I know you're saying you were all in Ibiza as well, but there seems to be something special about this group growing right now, doesn't there? Yeah, no, without a doubt, I think it's just a good mix of um, experience, but also the younger players coming through, really pushing for places. It's just exciting times ahead, really. I think everyone um, that comes to camp is just, there's a buzz about the place. So you come in the competition, um, we all get on really well. Obviously, a lot of us play at clubs together, but yeah, like I said, we all get on really well, and I think we managed to get the best out of each other, and the staff added to that. I think the staff really push us and motivate us to be the best versions of ourselves. Well, they're going to motivate and push you in there, so I better let you get going, but thank you for your time. Nice wee chat there, no nice worries, wee walk. Good catch up. Good stuff, Lisa. Cheers. So, Lisa's off to training, and I'm off to chat to another Scotland star. Now, our special guest is no stranger to huge crowds travelling up and down the country. This summer alone, she played Belladrum, Glastonbury and the main stage at Transmit. I'm absolutely delighted to be joined by Rianne Downey. Rianne, you had a very hectic summer, so when you weren't playing festivals, what were you up to? When I wasn't playing festivals, I was rehearsing and writing tunes. <laughs> Did you get away at all? Did you get up? It's not the nicest of days here today. Have you had, a, had any sort of summer holiday? Not really, to be honest. Gigging's my holiday. That's like heaven on earth to me, to be honest. So you absolutely love it, though, don't you? You've got to tell me about Glastonbury. That must have been a, a pinch me moment. Oh, it was a total pinch me moment. It's it's a bucket list gig for any musician, I think. And it's one of those ones where you never know if you're going to get to do it. And the fact that I got to do it this year so early in my career, it was amazing. And the performance, the crowd, everything, it just went as well as I could ever have imagined. As we're saying as well, you've done a lot of Scottish gigs. You've done Transmit a few times, but getting on that main stage so early in your career as well, that must have been cracking. Again, that was a pinch me moment. It was one of the best days of my life. What's the difference between playing a festival and then you've just came off the back of a, a wee Scottish tour as well, uh, hitting around the, the club. So what's the difference between being outside and inside? It's a weird one. When you're outside, especially when I was playing the bigger stages, you go on and it's just like heads for miles. You don't really see anybody's faces. Um, so you're just like there and enjoying the tunes on the stage. But then when I've been playing the more intimate gigs on my tour, the people are like right in front of you. Um, and it can be a wee bit intimidating at first, but then once you get into it, it's lovely because you're really like sharing a moment with, with the people in the crowd. Like they're right there singing to you and you're singing right back to them, which is lovely. And it's not just here as well, obviously, Scotland Women's National Team are playing England, they're playing the Netherlands, they're playing Belgium. Have you played any of those countries? I've played in the Netherlands, actually. I played the Paradiso in Amsterdam with Jerry Cinnamon. I was supporting him and oh, it was one of the best gigs in my life. It was a beautiful venue. The crowd were amazing. I think Cafe Scotland was there, which was class. And I actually visited Belgium last year. I went to Brussels. Um, that's the first time I've ever been and it was a Halloween rave and I dressed up as Shrek thinking, no. yeah, <laughs> I love Shrek and I thought... I love Shrek too, <laughs> I, Shrek's brilliant. I thought this is like my chance to get dressed up and put everything that I've got into my costume and I had my Shrek ears on, I had a donkey backpack that was literally just his head. You went full out? Yeah, full, full blown Shrek mode and I turned up and me and my pals were the only ones dressed up. No, <laughs> we were, oh, no, no, no. We were at a rave with like thousands of these dead cool European people all dressed in black just dancing and I'm just standing with a literal <laughs> ogre. <laughs> yeah, literally donkey's head in my hand. As they head off to the Stadium of Light on Sunderland, what are your plans? What's next up for Rianne Downey? So I am in France this week playing a wee gig, so I'll be watching the game in France, which is nice. And um, I'm heading into the studio next month for for a month, recording a, 
a body of work. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm allowed to say on that yet, but there's loads of music on the way. And then I'm touring for the rest of the year, November and December, across the UK and Ireland. Fantastic. And of course, if you weren't in France, you'd be at Hamden next Tuesday for the Belgium game, wouldn't you? Oh, of course. Of Absolutely. Course. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you for your time, Rian. Oh, no, thank you for having me. This Friday, the Scotland women's national team will play their first game in the inaugural Nations League. It may be a competition and a concept that you're rather familiar with since it launched in 2018 in the men's game, but how does it really work? Countries across Europe are split into three leagues based on their coefficient, and like Scotland men, the women are in League A. We've been drawn against England, Netherlands and Belgium. Between September and December, we'll play them home and away, starting off with the Lionesses in Sunderland on Friday before welcoming Belgium to Hamden next Tuesday. So, what's at stake? What's the end goal? Win the group and we'll qualify for the Nations League finals next February to compete for the Nations League trophy. Finish third and we'll face a playoff to remain in League A against a League B runner-up, but finish fourth and we'll automatically drop into League B. Remaining in League A is so crucial because the qualifying process for the next Euros in 2025 follows the same format, so it'll give us the best chance of making those finals. It's been a busy day of training here at Orium for the players, but before they head back to the hotel, I'm going to catch up with Rian and some of the players for some Nations League challenges. Welcome to the Scotland changing room, where once again I'm joined by Rianne and Lauren Davidson, Jamie Lee Napier and Amy Rogers have joined us as well. Thank you very much, guys. So our first round is finish the lyric and it's going to be a buzzer round. So it's fast as finger, it's as simple as that. You get a point every time you get it right. But before we begin, everybody wants to hear each other's buzzers. So Jamie Lee Napier, <laughs> Hit the buzzer and let us know what you sound like. Okay. <laughs> Did you go to the zoo for that? Or? No, that came out my mouth. Uh, how? Just a talent I have. What's yours then? It wasn't me. On you go. Oh, that's from your mouth. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's impressive. That's actually cool. And how uh, how did you figure that one out, Rianne? Obviously, a musician was that a part of a song? Uh, no, definitely wasn't a part of a song. I don't think I'd be playing many gigs if that was what I was doing. <laughs> right. So let's get to this because I know you are absolutely desperate to get going. Jamie and Napier, you're so competitive. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's raring to yeah, go already. So as we say, finish the lyrics. So I'm looking for the next line in the song. So I'll say the line. A wee tip, each song relates to the country or a country that we'll be facing in the Nations League. So keep that at the back of the mind, yes? I can take myself dancing, I can hold my own hand. Oh. <laughs> Rianne, on you go. I can love me better than you can. Miley Cyrus, flowers, first point. Come on. Rianne and think? Lauren. Carrying the team. <laughs> right, let's go again, quick. I've got good loving for you and I've got nothing to prove. <laughs> no. <laughs> Rianne, it's you again. Give me permission to lose my head. Hannah Lang, it I could love it. See, I'm singing it in my head and then I'm just letting you the go. The head's gone. Fantastic, that's two points. Right, no Scotland. No party. Lauren Davison, that was very, very quick. Very, very quick, that was rapid. Fair enough. Never I, heard that one before. I think I'm too busy, like, dancing. Trying to get in the song. <laughs> Let's see if you get this one. You take the high road and I'll take the... Lord. Give us a bit and more. I'll be in Scotland before you. That's well done, Jamie. Thanks. Well done. Everyone at a Scottish wedding, of course, singing Loch Lomond. Right, let's go again. But I will give you one more chance. It's a tricky line, I will admit. 
Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't think of that, do you? No. Wow. You don't think of that. You're just right in the middle of a storm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're storming this, Rianne. Yeah. You've got plenty of time okay. to pull this back. Okay. Plenty of time to pull this back. Oh, you see the flames of burning passion. You know this song. I don't know if I do. <laughs> you do. <laughs> When I look in your eyes. There we go, I see it. LF system, afraid to feel. Yeah. Of course it is, we all know that one. Right, let's go again. You definitely know this one. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike. I want to ride my bicycle. Go on, Amy. I want to ride it where I like. There we go, yeah. fantastic. I don't know that. You're really nice. <laughs> I know. Let me tell you that I love you and I think about you all the time. Somebody who sings this song quite often. <laughs> Caledonia, you're calling me. Oh, Very well done, Rianne. Of course, it is to give a clean second. Caledonia. I've had the same jeans on for four days now. <laughs> when he gives a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go to a disco in the middle of, of the town. Of course, the view with the same jeans. <laughs> no happy ending unless fairy tales come true. But she looks like a princess. No. And then yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> Why are you saying that? Why are you doing that? You're absolutely Thank spot you. on. That's another nice point. Jenny. I got food in my belly and a license for my telly. Oh. How do you sing that song? I know this song. No. And nothing's going to bring me down. Gage. I was singing that in my head. Ah, Highland Teeny. Pencil for the blade. Song. Did you hear me? I was like, yeah. So our final round, we are going to be guessing the nationalities of some of these famous people. And a wee helping hand again, they're going to be from one of the countries that will be facing in the Nations League. So it narrows it down to three, really. So it can't be too... So much, Lisa. It can't be too difficult. It's, it's a, know, it's just a one in three chance. Yeah. So <laughs> let's get going. First one, Martin Garrix. Jamie Lee. Is he Scottish? <laughs> Are you facing yourself in the Nations League? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> You've got three teams. Us. Oh, so you can't oh, be Scottish? Well, it's a bit easy if it's Scottish. Sorry, I didn't know. She's not used one of the teams, so surely we get... I, I think know. this time, I think this is exceptional <laughs> rules. Lauren, you're spot on. I'm would you like so to have a sorry. Would you like to have a go? <laughs> go on, Rianne. He's from the Netherlands? He is from the Netherlands. Well done. <laughs> That's what I was like. Maybe That's a really good coffee. start. <laughs> a really <laughs> strong start. It's been a long morning. Let's go. Let's go for Klim Kleisters. Tennis player. Belgium. Anyway, Belgium. Belgium. She is from Belgium. Yes. You're right. Let's go again. Marco Pierre White. We all have heard the name. English. It is English. Woo. Don't have that down, Lauren. I know. Do you, you know, know that? that one? Yeah. Do you know him? Mm hmm. How? Best buds. <laughs> right. Dr. Evil from Austin Powers. Go for it, yeah. Jamie Lee. The Netherlands. No. Sorry, it's Belgium. Let's go again. Quickly putting that one to the back of the mind. Afrojack. Netherlands. Netherlands. Netherlands is right. This one will be quick answer, I imagine. Emma Raducanu. Go on, Jamie. English? Lee. Yes, she is from oh, England. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, Had to get that one right. I know. Dina Asher Smith. England. She is from England, absolutely. Oh, Lance Stroll. Oh. Oh. No, it's just, I don't want to have to choose, but I'm slightly scared of Jamie Lee, so let's go with it. That's not fair. Oh, we need to get it right now. Lance Stroll. Netherlands. Oh, I should have went Lauren. It's Belgium. Oh. It's Belgium. Oh. But would you have guessed that? Yeah, Belgium no, will do. No, you knew that one. <laughs> you absolutely knew that one. Right, last one. Eddie Van Halen. That was Jamie Lee. That one's Jamie Lee. You're at it. See if she gets that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, that's two points. The Netherlands. It is the Netherlands. Yeah. Well done. I think that was about even, Stevens. I think overall we've got some clear winners here. Sorry, yeah. girls. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> All friends think? still? Yeah. 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 I mean, don't you didn't really do it, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> you must have a bad back, Harry Lauren. <laughs> That's it from Scotland HQ. Remember to get your tickets for the Belgium game next Tuesday and all the other Nations League home games at scottishfa.co.uk. Thanks very much to all my guests and we'll see you soon.